Welcome to episode 28 of the Woodwind Doubling Channel. Today we're going to talk about stand desks. Do we really need one? Well, I think so. It's a very handy thing to have when you're uh, dealing with a doubling situation where you need uh, quick access possibly to uh, spare reeds, pens and pencils, uh, small instruments that don't fit readily or easily on available stands, or uh, if you're a double reed player, a place to put your tools and your, uh, more importantly, your soaker and your spare reeds and things like that. So uh, for those of you not familiar with what a stand desk looks like, it could be something like this. This is one that was made out of acrylic several years ago by a clarinet player in Toronto, and he used to sell them through a store I worked in. Uh, nice little shelf, edge on either side. It's open at the ends, and there is a sort of reason for that. Uh, and it clips onto just about any kind of uh, music stand desk. This one's a little bit awkward in terms of its implementation, but... Uh, it served me well for lots of years. Uh, one of the things about having it open at the sides like this is if you need to quickly put down, say, things like penny whistles or piccolos, stuff like that, you can put it in there without worrying about them uh, sticking over the edges. Now, obviously, this being a hard surface could be a bit noisy. The stand desk that I use most of the time now is a little bit different than this. This is my current stand desk. It's actually uh, marketed by uh, Long & McQuaid's here in Canada. It's the uh, Yorkville uh, mic stand accessories tray. It's a little difficult to find in their site because of course I'm looking for something like a stand desk for a woodwind player and I was looking in the wrong place. It's actually under the pro audio or recording accessories. So this is designed to actually clip onto a mic stand. It's got a spring clip there and then a knob that you tighten down. So it'll actually fit just about any kind of diameter of, uh, of stand. So you can put it successfully on mic stands, music stands, even folding music stands. This will work. Put it about any height you want. Now the desk as it comes is actually a solid black painted metal. Uh, again, it's open at the outside edges. It's a little, a little smaller than the other one I have here, but it's fine. Uh, uh, and what I've done is take some uh, dollar store drawer liner material and just tape it on there, which means that now it's got a padded surface. So when I drop tools on there, say that's another thing I keep in those uh, screwdrivers and any quick tools I might need for uh, uh, emergency adjustments in the middle of the show, they sit on this stand desk. Now, it used to be that when I was looking at stand desks, people would make fancy ones out of wood. They're very nice. They get a little place to put the soaker in them. That's great, but you could be paying 80 to 100 bucks for them. This in Canada retails for $14.99 plus tax. It's such a cheap accessory. I don't see why everybody doesn't have one. Even if it's in a rehearsal, just a place to put your spare reeds and put your pens and pencils and things like that so you're not drop, uh, leaning down all the time. For me, it's very handy. I switch glasses when I'm playing. I have a set of computer glasses that I use for reading music stand distances. And usually I have my glasses case and my uh, bassoon reed case and any other things that I may need quickly during a show. So there you have it. It's just about one of the cheapest and most useful accessories that you can have as a woodwind doubler. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and uh, tell your friends. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications about new episodes. And I'll see you next time on the Woodwind Doubling Channel. Thanks for watching.